Hello, and welcome to Three Minutes for Your Information. I'm Kevin Mundy, Council Member for the Southwest Ward. Earlier this month, the City Council voted to adjust ward lines. These changes will balance the ward populations based on the 2020 Census. However, they will not take effect until July 1st, 2023. Now, most of the Southwest Ward will remain as it is now, with just two minor changes. The neighborhood around South Wind Drive off Jonestown Road will become part of the West Ward, represented by Council Member Robert Clark. And we'll pick up the neighborhoods off South Peace Haven Road on the far side of 421 at the edge of the city limits that are currently in the West Ward. You can see all of these redistricting details on maps posted at cityofws.org wards. Again, these changes will not take effect until July of next year. Here's another change to our ward. As of September 19th, Jennifer Chryson is the new Community Assistance Liaison for the Southwest Ward. Jennifer succeeds Vernetta Devane, who has been splitting her time between the South and the Southwest Wards. Now she'll be able to concentrate fully on the South Ward, working with Council Member John Larson. Vernetta has been a helpful, familiar face and voice to the residents of the Southwest Ward over the last 15 and a half years. She's done an outstanding job of serving this part of the community, even while pulling double duty. And Vernetta, I'd like to add my personal thanks for all of your help, advice, and patience during my first months in office. I wouldn't have made it without you, and, and we'll all miss you. But don't worry, folks, you'll be in excellent hands with Jennifer. She served most recently as assistant to the city operations director, and before that, she was with the city's marketing and communications department. These experiences have given her a broad understanding of everything the city does. Here's Jennifer's contact information. She's going to be a great asset for our ward and I know you'll love working with her. Here's some more news you can use. During October, the fire department is providing free house numbers to city residents. When seconds count, the ability for first responders to find the correct address can truly mean a difference between life and death. The fire department is offering these free numbers to make sure they can find you if there's ever a need to. The numbers are four inches tall and reflective, so you can easily see them at night. Order your free numbers at cityofwsfire.org. And finally, the Carolina Classic Fair is back in town September 30th through October 9th. With midway rides, exhibits, and all that crazy fair food, what's not to love? You know, in one form or another, this fair has been held now for 140 years. It's a triad tradition you don't want to miss. It's been three minutes and my time is up. Until the next update, I'm Southwest Ward Council Member Kevin Mundy, and this has been three minutes for your information.